Now talking more about ethics, ethics has been divided into three branches. Applied ethics consists of moral issues. Applied ethics जो होता है वो एक group of people decide करते हैं jointly कि इस काम को करना है या नहीं करना है ये ethical है या unethical है. That vary from time to time and society to society. For example, sati and euthanasia. The second one comes up to be normative ethics. Normative normative ethics is a test for reasonable behavior. It considers world is like a mirror, and if you do good to some other person, the good will come back to you. The third part is meta ethics. It is also known as analytical ethics. This generally gives us the analysis of what is good and what is bad. The fourth one is descriptive ethics. It is also known as comparative ethics. This compares ethical system from one to other, or either from past to present, or one society to other society. What is ethics in human life? A living a good life, fulfilling the rights and responsibilities of family, profession, social group, citizenship, and environment. Understanding what is right and wrong, being on the moral side of any decision. Now here comes the school of ethics. There are three types of schools: virtue of ethics, duty of ethics, and altruism. Virtue of ethics is discovered by Eric Stotel, which means. you should always give benefit to the society either in form of charity or in form of justice or in form of any disposable means second one is duty of ethics it is also known as deontology it says that duty always comes first the third one is altruism the guiding principle of the school the decision should be the happiness for the people means the more the people are happy so more you are the ethical The next topic of our discussion is human values. Human values are long-lasting beliefs that influence our way of working. They are very important in decision making. Human values differ from culture to culture, geography to geography. There are five types of core human values: truth, love, peace, non-violence, and righteous conduct. Now let us discuss some latest concerns in profession of engineering. Whistleblowing is generally reporting the corruption or the wrong which is happening in the institution or administration to the outer public as for an example this is a corrupt group of people in which a person decides to give the all of the corruption notices to the papers e web public platforms all of the corruption goes to viral to the people and people know about the corrupt organization this particular person is known as whistleblower now whistleblowing has two faces the ethical part and unethical part the ethical part says that person did the right thing to disclose the corruption of the organization but unethical part shows that the person should not have done it publicly because it demolishes the image of the administration person should have reported it to the higher of the authorities but it is the disability of the person that which one to trust and who to trust so whistleblowing is all about the trusting the newspaper and the e media 